Hi everyone, I'm Danielle. Welcome to Danielle's Garden. And today I am doing salsa. So I have um, a ton of tomatoes in front of me. Um, I got a half bushel from a local farm stand and I have been wanting to do some salsa. And so I also got a couple jalapenos from them and I'm not totally sure what type of pepper this is, but it's obviously a hot pepper. Um, so I got three of those. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 31 tomatoes. I was just short of 32. Um, and they're all, this looks like, like a better boy or like an early girl, like, um, half pound tomato. And, um, what I'm going to start by doing is coring them, but what I do differently is I'm going to roast them in the oven. So I went ahead and already set it to 425 and um, once I get them, or as I get them cored, I have two sheet pans and so I'm going to um, lay them out and we're going to roast them first instead of like chopping them up and cooking them in a pot. Um, so that is, that's the first step. Oh, these are so pretty on the inside. Perfect red. I don't know how many I'm necessarily going to do. Um, the recipe is mainly for cups, which presents an issue because I know the pounds of this. So this is 15 pounds of tomatoes. Now, So this is roughly 12 tomatoes um, at a half pound each we're looking at this is probably six pounds um, I'm going to pick through these tomatoes and any that have um, softer spots or look like they're on their way out I'm going to start with those first on the second pan but we also need to roast some other veggies with them um, so I don't want to um, probably take up more than half of the second pan.
are done. That took me less than 10 minutes, which is not bad at all. Um, so I had 31 tomatoes. Let's see. I'm now at 22. So, one, one, two, three, four, times six, twenty-four. That's twelve. But the math is not mathing. Did I? Oh, I had 41 tomatoes to start with, not 31. Lord, I was like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna wash this off and then we need to chop some onion. So these are your traditional yellow onion. And we're gonna roast these as well. They get a very rough chop. And then I just set them on the tray in their half. Um, no issues there. I'm going to do two onions first. Now for the other part, the peppers. So I have some peppers in the freezer. So last gardening season, I ran out of time to preserve the peppers. So these are all of the ones that I did not get to preserve last year. These are not spicy that I, well, these look like jalapenos. But they couldn't be jalapenos because my jalapeno plant ended up being a banana pepper plant. I think these are just snack peppers. I don't think they're jalapeno peppers. Okay. So these are frozen peppers. I have them on a different pan. That way, once they cook, I will have to process them after they cook. Okay, of the peppers that I do have, normally. So the thing is, is that with hot peppers, you're supposed to wear a glove. Um, there's like oils and things that can make them burn. I, however, do not have gloves. Um, but what I have seen is there's a lady, when I was doing a, a poblana recipe, she just uses a bag. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, 
Now, I'm not saying it's ideal, but it's fine. All I have to do is cut the top off. Do that, and then I'll get a spoon and scrape those out. Now, I don't know if, like, they become spicier if they're red or less spicy. I, like, have no idea. Okay. Then there are, possibly these are cayennes. And I may end up regretting this because I don't know how spicy they are. Um... Okay, there's no seeds in the tails, so I'll just do that. But yeah, so I will clean out the inside of that. And here, and the last thing is that normally you want to use like a variety. So right now I have a variety of peppers, um, but I would normally, and you could even like, I don't have a poblano ready and I don't know that if they had a poblano, I just didn't buy one. But normally like even with the tomatoes, I would do yellow and green and all this stuff. So, um, The more variety, generally, like the better it'll taste. The only thing that I would really add to this is if you had any like dark tomatoes, like the purple, like Paul Robeson. Um, they had Cherokee purple, but um, I just went ahead and got these instead. And I think that that's just fine. Okay. So I'm sliding it into a gallon bag. I'm gonna hold it down. Oop. That's the opposite direction of where I wanted that to go. Okay, and then that one is ready. just way easier. Pitiful, 
Um, so I'm going to take some of these really tiny uh, cloves. And like they essentially don't even have a peel. And we're going to sprinkle those in and around. are going to go into a 425 degree oven for um, I'll start with 30 minutes probably 45 and um, I'm not putting any seasoning on them I'm just roasting them So 45 minutes in, this is what we're looking like. So as these are finishing up, I could probably turn the oven off. Um, I'm gonna start sanitizing my jars. Um, this is what I can in. Um, I have no clue how big it is, but it's large. Um, and this is what I can. Then I have the rack that you set the jars in. Um, and I keep my jars um, in several places. So this fits, I think, like seven or eight um, pints. And that's the size that I'm going to can. I don't think that I'll do any quarts. But I want to go ahead and get them sanitized um, and get the water boiling. That way everything's ready to go once the salsa is ready. Um, so... I filled this about halfway up um, I don't need to necessarily put this in now but I'm going to um, and then I have uh, seven jars I'm gonna see to put some vinegar in here. And I'm gonna turn the burner on high. Um, now you can, if you're doing like a lot, I know there's some people who, if they're canning a lot, will sanitize in their dishwasher. Um, that's just not for me. So I'm just gonna put the lid on. And I feel like if I really wanted to, I could fit one more in here. I'm not going to, but if I tried hard enough, I could. I don't think that I'm going to get this much salsa anyways. I'm just sanitizing them just in case. 
Um, and so once everything is said and done, um, I'm not at a high elevation at all. <laughs> so um, I will just water bath them for I think 15 minutes. Um, another thing is that tomatoes are acidic. Um, they have like a pH of like four ish, but like peppers, onions, things like that are not acidic. So um, you already have to add acid generally when you water bath like a tomato sauce, but especially for the salsa because we're adding in non-acidic things, um, it needs to be more acidic. Um, so most recipes do call for lemon juice and vinegar um, or just lemon juice, something like that. And I'm gonna do citric acid. I've seen that used in some and that's what I have. Um, I only have lime juice and I don't wanna mess with that. Um, and then I also will be using canning salt instead of like an iodized salt or something like that. Um, so what's gonna happen, I'm gonna pull these things out of the oven. Um, I'm going to get them processed into a salsa um, with my blender and then we will get them into jars. tomatoes over and taking the skins off so let me get y'all where you can see where y'all could see that so I have the tomato and I'm turning it over I mean these are really hot and I'm peeling up the skins and I'm just doing that with the tongs like that and then this is going to go into the blender Okay, so our salsa is done, but I haven't tasted it, so I need to do that. And our water is boiling, so our jars are pretty much, they're gonna be good to go for canning. I'm gonna taste this, and then we're going to put it all together. Okay, so let's do a taste test, let's see. Mm. I have not seasoned it, like, at all. Okay, the peppers are there. The peppers are there for sure. It's really tomatoey, but it does have a spice, which I do like. Um, in each jar, I am gonna put some canning salt, and I think that will pretty much cover the seasoning front. Um, I'm really, I really do like that. Okay, so. This is citric acid, and for a pint jar, you put a uh, quarter of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon. So because this is generally you put in like over a cup of lemon juice, 
I'm gonna put in um, a half teaspoon in each jar um, just because of the peppers bringing down the acidity. I wanna make sure that I'm covered on the acidity. And then I'm gonna also do a half teaspoon of uh, canning salt. So half teaspoon of each will be easy. Okay, I cannot find my canning funnel anywhere. I don't know where it could have gone, but I can't find it. So I'm just gonna have to be very, very careful when I pour. Next, I'm using brand new lids. Girls, it's just me. And the last thing that I'm going to do is just debubble. So I'm going to just make sure everything is good. So not much to look at, but um, they are in. The water is over the lids. It is not to a rolling bowl yet. So once it comes up to a rolling bowl, I will start a 15 minute timer. So we're just gonna wait for it to actually be roll, rolling um, before we start our timer. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and it'll probably take five minutes for this to start boiling and then 15 minutes from there. And it's 12.02 now. So hopefully this can be done around 12.20 ish. Okay, we've been at a rolling boil for 15 minutes. I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm gonna pull these out and show you what they look like. We also want to be listening for the pop. So Okay, so here we have our five pints of salsa. Um, this will honestly last me forever if I don't take it to family events. Um, I'm really pleased. These will sit out on the counter for at least a day. Once they're cooled, I will put the date on them um, and then they will go into the pantry. And you can see like this lid is popped down but this one is not. So I was trying to see, the minute I turned the camera off, this one went down. <gasps> Do you see? There we go. So thank you so much for joining me on my 
salsa journey. I know that they're gonna taste really, really good. Um, I am really glad that I tried those spicier peppers. I think it's gonna go really well. So these are gonna cool and I probably won't crack them open until I do Mexican food, but you just never know. There was some left in the pot, um, but not enough to really make a difference in anything. All of the cans have done the lid pop, so we are good to go on that. And then tomorrow I'll take off the rings, date them, and I'll put them in the pantry. And that will be the first preservation of the year. Um, and I'm super excited. So thanks for joining me. Um, canning is, there's a whole lot of science to it. So this is not a to follow. Uh, definitely do your research, find a recipe that you like. Um, but I will definitely bring y'all along when I do tomato sauce and pickles because those are the things that I love the most. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.